Welcome to the BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense and I have the great privilege and pleasure to be holding the BIF Talks, which are talks with directors, actors and other guests of this festival. The BIF Talks is an open discussion format. We want to get to know the, pe the people behind the films and the films itself that we will be showing on this festival. And with me here is Petros Charalambos. Charalambos, yeah. Charalambos, welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. It's very, it's, it's great to be here. And uh, I mean, um, I'm very thankful to the festival that uh, actually selected the film and got us the opportunity to come here and see Braunschweig and you and meet everybody. It's a great opportunity. We're so glad to have you. You just arrived from Cyprus. So. From Cyprus, yes. I've uh, been traveling for many, many, many hours, but uh, I think your energy and uh, the energy of the festival now made me, you know, just forget about the, the, the fatigue and everything. So. so let's get it started about your movie, Patchwork. It's about a young mother, which it says on your flyer, is haunted by her ambiguous feelings about motherhood. And also it says, is a wo woman allowed to regret her motherhood? Why this topic? <laughs> Why this topic? Um, initially, I wanted to, to say before we start that uh, we, we shot this film with uh, Janine Tierling. Janine Tierling um, is a producer also of the film and the, and the writer of the film. So we wanted, to say, uh, we wanted to say this story because it's important to both of us. It's very important because um, yeah, I, I, I believe, we believe that it's a topic that is not um, so much uh, explored in depth. Um, uh, you know that uh, in the media, maternal love now is glorified and, you know, uh, in the media and um, uh, uh, you, we see everywhere around society that how important it is to be a mother and how the, the, form, the, the maternal love is the great, greatest love of all. But we wanted to also show what happens when, uh, when a woman is not a mother or she, she's unable to become a mother or she chooses not to be a mother. Um, I'm coming uh, from a patriarchal society, from a small society that puts all this pressure on, on women. And, uh, you know, it's like saying uh, if you're 30 and you're not a mother or if you are, you know, uh, if you're thinking of not having or you don't want, uh, society actually puts, you know, shows that what's wrong with you. Um, so we wanted to, to show all these uh, unspoken truths about motherhood. And uh, we wanted to actually show that um, women um, can and, are and of course are allowed because who can actually tell somebody that they're not allowed? If the word allowed, we use it because it's actually society who puts, who puts all these pressures on women and that they have to meet all these norms of motherhood. So um, they, can, they can feel all this wide range of emotions uh, that also could be regret or maternal abandonment or confusion. There's nothing wrong with that because, because this is how it is. I mean, uh, um, so we, we started with that and, and uh, it's a very personal th um, theme also to Janine because um, uh, she's, uh, you know, she's a woman in her late uh, 40s and she's child free and she doesn't want to have, she won't want to have a child and, uh, and she can also share stories of other women around here and uh, friends around here that, uh, uh, you know, they experience all this, this uh, you know, this um, internal and then they say, uh, uh, struggle and the ex existential angst and they're forced to justify themselves through motherhood so this is this is why we wanted to make this film and from my side as um, um, as a parent as a father of two and um, I have a daughter um, I w you know working on this script and this film actually helped me reevaluate the way I see things in society you know because we um, we sometimes uh, follow what society imposes and we say, ah, yes, why not? I mean, by 30, you should actually get married. You have two kids, live next to your parents, and the parents will take care of your kids, and you'll take care of the kids of your kids. So it goes like that. So um, um, I started thinking and challenging the way I see, you know, now, um, the way I want my daughter to grow, because I don't want her, you know, I don't want to, you know, 
I want to. I don't want her to um, make her own life decisions based on on what I choose or what society choose for her. So I want her to make freely her own decisions without any pressure, just to be happy. So all these things uh, that I just said made us want to say this story. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, this film, is it, how would you classify it? Is it a warning to young women? Is it a, I don't know, a manifesto? Is it a state description most of all? What would you say? Um, I would say for us it's a character study. It's 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 a it's a showcase. Let's say you just show you just take one one woman and you explore explore uh, the way she feels uh, and. Um, because it's a very sensitive uh, topic, we don't want to go and say big words, we don't want to say it's a manifesto. We just want, uh, with sensitivity and very carefully, touch upon this, uh, you know, these themes and uh, with, with great respect and with great, um, uh, with, with in, a, in a modest way, we want to try and, and, and make a small change. Let's say um, women that they will watch the film will identify and they will feel and they will say yes we felt something you know we feel like this or women that they or uh, men that they haven't thought about this topic and that you know these unspoken truths and these uh, you know corners of shame in regards to motherhood exist maybe we we'll do something to change that so um, I, I believe I believe it's like a um, uh, opening a window in the life of this specific woman of Hara and let people actually see um, the way she feels about, uh, about motherhood. But the difficult thing is that because she loves her family more than anything else in the world, um, the, difficult, uh, the difficulty that she experiences is that she, you know, uh, someone can say, but she has everything. Her husband is nice, and uh, you know she has a perfect house. Uh, financially, they're okay. But w what's wrong with her? This is what society would say. But uh, uh, she's unable to express this internal struggle she's going through. So um, uh, uh, she carries this burden of uh, of you know confusion and guilt. Uh, by herself, and she's not able to, to share it with anyone because it, they would judge her, like society does. So um, uh, we believe that with this film we want to try and make a modest, a small contribution in changing all these pressures imposed by society uh, uh, on women. Mm -hmm. I have a question towards the soundtrack of this film. I really like, maybe it was a joke of, of words, I, I, I wasn't sure, but you choose to um, use the song La Mer, and then she goes off to the sea, but La Mer en, en français, in French, would be also the mother, right? Uh, uh, yes, I mean, if you, if you pronounce it differently, yes, but um, I, I think she goes to the sea, she goes there because she wants to, to find a way to breathe to actually let out all this panic. Um, uh, if you see, I mean, you, you watch the film and you saw that our character, um, portrayed by wonderful Angeliki Babuya, we is, uh, we're very, very grateful, you know, that she, uh, she was uh, the, the, the lead uh, actress in our film, because um, we were looking for an actress that she will be able to express this internal conflict in a non-verbal way and through her body language. And I think based on also on, on her experiences with all these wonderful films she showed with Yorgos Lanthimos, um, I think she was, she was perfect for, for the part because she's, uh, she's in every scene and she's not only the protagonist, but she is her own antagonist in the film. So um, she, um, um, we want her uh, to express uh, you know, this struggle we, in her body language, and, and I hope and uh, uh, that it comes comes out. So he, she goes to she goes to to, um, uh, to the beach because she wants to breathe. She wants to be able to express uh, all these you know these struggles she has uh, in, in, inside. Um, I think it is absolutely visible that she is struggling. Mostly, her eyes are impressive. Um, those maybe lack of having access to her own emotions, to her own needs, that really, yeah, somehow reminded me of people I have met, women and mothers I have met. 
how are reaction with this, reactions with this film? I assume that m a lot of mothers see it and might refine them uh, themselves in Khada. Yeah, we, we hope we hope that they will identify with, with her and that they can see a, a piece, a part of them in, in, in her eyes, in the way she uh, she expresses. You know, she um, uh, she deals with her emotions, but um, also she's dealing with this um, painful past because she was trying to uh, to actually not deal with. The painful past. She didn't want to. Um, she didn't want to deal with the fact that um, I, I don't want to give spoilers. But I don't want. She doesn't want to deal with the fact that you know um, if, uh, the, her past actually formed the way she grew up and the way she became uh, a, a mother. And uh, um, the thing is that when she meets. Uh, Melina, portrayed by Joy Rieger, we're very grateful also to have because she brought her talent and, 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 and her energy to, to, to the film. Um, when she meets this young, uh, this young daughter of uh, her new boss, she actually f um, uh, is forced to confront this existential angst and come to terms with her painful past. So she has to, and, and for me and for Janine, it's like a um, a, a belated a coming of age story because through her relationship with uh, with Melina, she's actually forced to deal with what he sh what is bothering her for for a long for a long time, and actually put the pieces of herself. That's why we called it patchwork because we wanted we wanted the film to work on different uh, levels of um, of self acceptance of actually trying to put the pieces back together and become happy. And um, working and uh, researching with Janine uh, this topic, we actually saw that um, many women that abandoned uh, or regretted their children and uh, having children or, and, and abandoned the children, um, actually when they left and they uh, felt okay with themselves, when they found themselves, they came back and they became better mothers for themselves, not better mothers as society expect us to, to expect them to be as they want to be so for us it was also uh, important um, to explore this uh, the, the, this uh, you know in depth this thing mm -hmm. and your film is nominated for the Heinrich which is the audience award and then the Volkswagen Financial Services Award which is a jury prize um, tomorrow there's going to be the prize ceremony what have, why are your feelings about that? <laughs> the feelings for, for, for us, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's very important that we manage to complete the film. It's very important that it actually has the ability now uh, to travel around the world and, and uh, reach audiences uh, you know, ar around the world, women and uh, men and people around the world. And um, for us, this is already uh, a prize because you know how difficult it is to make films nowadays. It's a, it, 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 it's a, it's a fight, it's a fight. And uh, we managed to complete the film in difficult times and we managed to have good premieres. We're very, very happy that we have our premiere here. And uh, this, is, this is what I say, the magic of festivals because um, no matter how hard time we had finishing completing a film, now we celebrate. Uh, in festivals and, and in, in cities and in places that uh, in other ways we might not have never given the chance to visit. So for us, this is very important. Of course, if, we, um, if, if the jury and the audience like the film and they want to give us a prize, of course, we will be very, 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 very happy. So yeah, I mean, uh, let's, hope, let's hope that they find something that they identified with, that they connected with. Um, and um, uh, let's hope that they have something to take with them when they watch the film. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed then for the prize ceremony. Thank you so much for having you and thank you for having Patchwork. Thank you so much for inviting us and thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and for this um, wonderful uh, interview and chance to get to know each other. Sure, thank you're you welcome. So much. Thank, thank you. you.